The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. We have a big show tonight as we kick off a brand new week. Welcome to Good Times with Mo, the podcast. My name is Mo. This, of course, brought to you by Globe, and our phone number is 478-7954. You can Skype us at The Good Times Podcast. You can text us at 0927-360-0485. And when I say we have a big show, it's because we have a big-time guest. One of our regular guests that comes, you know, she comes in and out eh, every yes, like month or two. In and out. In and out, in and out. You know that voice. Please release. You know that voice. (laughs) And I I refer to her as crazy ass mocha. uh, And I'm not crazy like mentally or or scary ass mocha. Sometimes I'll say not because not because she's scary. It's just because she's crazy, scary, like hypersexual, and to a point where even I get freaked out. Yes, yeah. and, and it's 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 to a point where Mocha, who's extremely successful these days, I think Mocha, you're more, I think you're more successful now than you've ever been, to be honest. Oh, um, you, you tour the world, you're gone for months at a time, yeah. and when I follow you on Twitter and I see you're at a certain city and I'm in that city, oh, I'm wow. still scared to tell you. Oi, meet me to We didn't see <laughs> each other. I was in New York. I was in L.A. And yeah, I was in I, I was in Las Vegas. You were in, you were in Las Vegas, I, but oh, I'm I know, I know, I know. I know you're <laughs> I'm scared. Like, <laughs> I'm terrified of you. But I'll tell you this: you are very entertaining. Um, not just on stage, but on Twitter. My oh, God, really? you're so fucking funny on Twitter. It, I'm just tweeting what I morning. feel. You know, I just express myself, talaga. Mm, I know, but it's like. It, She's like, good morning, everyone. Oh, no, BJ. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> <sighs> woo. If you need Kasi, to follow her on Twitter, which you should, it's at Moko. It's really my, it's really my favorite. Eh. It's my favorite talaga. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> All right, so Mocha, you know how it works here. People call, you know, they tell us their problems, and you and I uh, sometimes agree. A lot of the times argue about what we think the best plan for them to do. But, you know, it's nice to have your point of view because you are very confident in uh, what you say. You believe in it and it works for you. So it might work for a lot of people yeah. as well. So let's get to it. You're going to love this first question, Mocha. It okay. is from Anne. Yeah. She is in Pasig. Anne, how old are you? I, I, I didn't get your age here. You, you got a great question. Hi, Anne. Good morning. I'm sorry. Good evening. Hi. Your time. Hey, good evening. <laughs> All right. And how old are you? I just turned 19. Oh, shit. This Hello. question just got better by 10 times 10. <laughs> okay. And you're 19. You're in Pasig. Do tell the story. Yeah. So here goes. Um, my, da- my, my dad just arrived from Saudi. And yeah. he's having a major house renovation here. Yeah. And he had, of course, he had a couple of you know, uh, carpenters. <laughs> and one of them is really fucking hot. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, you should see. <laughs> 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 Parang carpenter, you know? 
Sige. Yeah. And then? No, no, he doesn't look like your your typical carpentero uh, sa, sa atin. Ang mukha ba yung, yung... isang tao dito sa studio? Ito, ito, naka-stripes. Para may pagka-carpentero siya. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this girl's Anne, nineteen-year-old Anne. Oh, hello, Anne. Okay, so so one of them super hot. All right, c- continue. Okay. Mm, you should see him every time that he's hot. Angle yung damit niya, gabi. Parang pili ko da. Love it. Love uh, and and for how many times that I've you know I've masturbated while thinking about him, mm-hmm. and now. I, I want to try him. Mm-hmm. I want to. I want to know how to do seduce him so that he could come up here upstairs in my room and you know. <laughs> yeah, and fuck the shit out of you. All right. Well, okay. This is what happens when your dad's in Saudi. By the way, your daughter goes nuts. Um, okay, and so how do you seduce him? You know, listen. If he really is that good looking, I'm gonna assume that this is something. This is. This would not be the first time for him. Because you got to think about it, man. I mean, he's working this job where it's a very manly, masculine job where he gets to take off his shirt in front of people. And, of course, because of the nature of his job, his muscles all fucking ripped. And it, because it's humid, he must be sweating and glistening in the fucking sunlight. And you just want to go there and destroy this fucker. Um, I get it. So, Mocha. What? Realistically, <laughs> Mocha, how does she... Get him upstairs okay. and jackhammer Wait, this girl. Wait, may tanong ako, Ann. Ilang mm. araw na siyang nagkakarpentero dyan sa inyo? Ilang araw na? Siguro mga two weeks na. Two weeks na? Oo, oh, patapos ano, na yun. Putang tinitignan na. ka ba niya? Hindi ba siya nagpapakit na interesado siya sa'yo? O ano, wala, wala. Feeling ko naman. Feeling kasi pag, pag bumababa ako, ano? kasi yung banyo namin nasa baba. O oh, tapos? Tapos yun, tumitingin naman siya. <laughs> Paka naman, ano? Tumitingin lang, ganyan. Oo, eh, tuloy kasi siguro dahil alam niyang karpentero siya ng nagtatay ko. So Why don't you walk yeah. out naked on accident? Like, oy, may tao pala dito. Puta, oh, bam. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on one second. <laughs> let, let me ask you this, though, uh, and Are you hot? Huh? I are you she, good looking? I, I like, think she is. Because if you're ugly, eh. no, I'll tell you this. If you're ugly, I mean, I don't think he'll risk it. Because, syempre, kung malaman ni daddy, kasi putang yung anak niya. You, know, you get what I mean, Mocha? It's like, I'm being hired by somebody. So, in theory, at this moment, my boss is this guy. Diba? And all, all of a sudden, the, sis, the daughter wants to fuck me. But if she's not good looking, I'm not going to risk it. I can't call him fucking Mo, Pepe din yan, ano? <laughs> Kahit na, putang yan, pag kick-ass pangit, tapos igaganyan ko, tapos alam mamamatay mo, lang ako. Hindi ah, alam mo, feeling ko maganda si Anne, maganda si Anne, boses pa lang niya sexy. Eh. Ah, okay, and lang. are you, are you good looking? I think so. Mm, she is. Ayan na. Yeah, that's a five. Ang tataka okay, lang ako, continue, Mocha. two weeks na eh, parang kung gusto rin talaga siya ng guy, sana nag, ano, nag-make ng konting move, tumingin-tingin. No, 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 no. I, listen, I, I'll tell you this, even though I'm medyo torpe, uh, I would say that even the most machismo guy would not because of the work. Like, if you get caught, you're dead. However, if she makes the first move, I do believe he would definitely jump in. Teka so lang. she really has to make the first move. An, an, virgin ka pa ba? Hindi na. <laughs> Hindi na. Eh, bakit naman ito yung tipo mo? Ano na? Talagang gustong-gusto mo siya? Malaki ba? Malaki ba yung ano niya? Uh, oh. Basta, basta na, medyo type ko siya. Yung, yung ganun. Siya. So, kahit uh, sinong gusto mo lang makita mo, gusto mong i-fuck, gano'n. Kaya, carpintero, driver, ano? Ano bang special dito sa carpintero na to? Ay, kasi gusto ko talaga yung mga manly, for example... Gusto ko yung mga bending uniform, mga ganun. You on practice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. role-playing. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Sige, okay, go na Okay, mo. so Mocha, please help her. How do we get this guy upstairs? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll, I'll do this. If he's I don't want to encourage cause... her to fuck that guy. Malik, Why? Why? Because, eh, syempre, you know, I, I've always told She's you She's an na, adult. Oh, sige, eh, yung, asa, yung lalaki, baka may asawa. Oh, sabi ka na oh, kasi. Oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Mukhang right, right, Okay, no, no. Ano, mukhang, ba, mukhang uh, wala yeah, asawa. And, okay, let's let's get serious. Let's get to it. Let, how do we get you to have sex with him? Okay, well, well how do you separate him from the other two? That's my worry. Because like, because there's three of them there, you need to isolate him somehow. Now, if he's working on one side of the room, you go, Manong, uh, may problema yata sa room ko. Nahuhulog na, na yata yung, uh, yung, I don't know, whatever, k- cortina, whatever the fuck, right? Can you please give it a look? And that's when he goes into the room to check it out. And 
that's where you make your move, whatever your move's going to be, whether it means caressing his thigh and then, you know, hoping that he jumps in, giving him your number and say, after work, can you just, can you come back and we'll, we'll figure something out where you, where you guys are going to meet and fuck this guy. I mean, you really need to, the number one thing is to isolate him from everyone else. And I think the best way is to say that something is broken in your room that you want him to look at. Just go, manong, I, I, alam ko naman, hindi naman part ng uh, construction kasi, pero can you just check it kasi mukhang dangerous yata. Baka, I don't want it to, you know, the, to collapse the house or whatever. Just come up with some fucking, some, some fucking excuse. And he's gonna go in your room, and then that's where you make your move. I don't care, grab his dick, whatever. Just do the move. But you can't have sex that moment because you're gonna get caught. So you have to tell him you're interested, you wanna fuck his brains out, and you have to meet at a time that's best for both of you. Mm-hmm. That's how you okay, do it. Okay. Say that something is broken in your room. I'm sorry? Kikwentahan ko kayo pag nagawa ako. <laughs> oh, Sige, please. Anna, mag-condom ka. Call us ka. back. <laughs> oh, tweet sure. Mocha. <laughs> call us back. Fucking videotape it. Whatever. Just, yeah, if you need to know the story. All right. I love it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. We lost her. Bye-bye. Mocha, I'm not disappointed in you. I thought you would be more aggressive there. She's 19. I don't want to encourage 19-year-olds to fuck their carpenters. Hello. What? Are you what? a hypocrite? Are you <laughs> telling me at 19 you were a virgin still? Ah, hindi naman, pero siyempre, <laughs> ano, pinapak ko business? mga medtech intern, mga ko intern ko, kilala ko, ganun, hello, hindi naman yung ganun-ganun lang. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna, Joanna, you're 32 in uh, Davao. Hi, Joanna, how are you? Hi, hello. I'm doing fine. Oh, great. How can we help you? Um, I just want to ask, um... Why are some men full of pride? They they're like mayabang like that. <laughs> um, why not all men? But yes, a very good majority of men. Why are they mayab? Uh, you know, it's it's just really I think the physical makeup of a guy. Um, you know, we we talk about sometimes how testosterone lowers the voice. You, you know, on the show when it comes to sexual drive, but they're they're just an aggressive species, you know. And with that kind of aggression and and ambition and determination and high sex drive and and all of that, it kind of tends to rub people off um, as mayabang. You know, they are very proud um, and that ambition and all. That, I think you just mix that all up. You're gonna find a lot of guys to be that way. Now, some of them are overboard. And uh, some of them are gentlemen about it. It it really is so difficult to say why men are mayabang. I mean, it, it, I, I'm assuming it's just the the, the makeup of a, of a guy. Now, now I don't know if mayabang is ever attractive. That that's my question because I feel like I see a lot of dick guys, guys who are douchebags. They can, they score a lot of chicks, man. M- M- Mocha, are there certain girls out there, maybe you or maybe your friends, ano? that are attracted to mayabang guys? Ay, hindi. Turn off yung mayabang. Siyempre, maganda yung confident na guy, pero wag naman yung obnoxious, overconfident. Siguro yung, ayun, hindi, hindi nakaka-attract yun. Mga lalaki talaga, talagang ano, they'll never admit that they're sorry, they'll never admit that they're wrong. Pride na talaga nila yun. Kaya, ganun na talaga sila. Me, and then and, and you want to minimize your interaction with, with these guys, um, Joanna, be, because what happens also is sometimes the pinakamayabang guys, they're the guys that always are hitting on you because they're the one who's most courageous or they, uh, gosh, what's the term? And not courageous, but you know, they're, they're like, they're mayabang. So they'll hit on all girls. And sometimes if you're a girl that doesn't get hit on all the time by normal guys, you only get hit on by mayabang guys, you'll then have this, this this theory that all guys are assholes. No, those are those just the guys that you attract. Those guys are assholes. Not all of them are. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Chaka Thanks mo, for the call. Mo, alam mo ba? Usually, yung mga dalak ng may abang, malilit yung mga titi nila. Kasi yun yung parang kanilang defense. Eh. Oo, yung mga talaga malaki yung dick. Sila yung mga gentleman. Oo, <laughs> totoo nga. Promise. Yeah, defense mode lang nila yun. So where am I on this? It doesn't matter. You just <laughs> must not. You just. Diba, ba, uh, you just said I had a small penis. No. <laughs> Kahit na mo na sa dila naman yun eh, na sa dila. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yes. All right, Psych. Psych, you're 35. You're in Pasay. What's up, Psych? Yes, hello. 
Hi, oh, you're female, Psych. Oh, psych sounded like a man's name. All right, Psych. Hi, welcome to the show. You're, uh, again, 35 years old. You're in Pasay on the show tonight. Mocha, what's up? Yes. Hi, Mocha. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. Um, we're just here uh, having a good time w- with Mocha, as we always do, every time she's on the show. Uh, what's your question? Yes. Our question is how to have a small kid. In a small wow. Room. Okay. You know, listen. I, I know your question, but your cell phone is awful. If you can try to find an area where your signal is a little better, she said, "How can she have sex in a room with small children?" Now we see this all the time with parents who, you know, have their children sleep with them in the same bed, whether their kids are scared or not, or maybe because they have a small house. But it is often uh, that that uh, this happens. So how do you pull it off? Well, my my question is, how old are your kids? The children. Yeah. The children, I have um, six years old, um, five years old, and six years old. Oh, man. They're old enough to know that that's sex going on. Yeah, that's tough. Um, and why do they stay in the room with you? Is it because you want them there or that you have a, you know, there's not enough bedrooms? There's not enough bedrooms. Oh, shit. <laughs> bedroom. You live in a, uh, in a house where they have her. Where I, where we have uh, my my husband Charlie, his brother, and yeah. you know the wife of of of, of my husband brother. So so enough room. We have to Sorry, stay man, here. Your, yeah, your cell phone is so bad right now. Um, uh, okay, how do you have sex with them? No extra room, so it's not like they can just go to another room and then, you know, all of a sudden the brothers there, family's there. They can't, I mean, they can't wait till the middle of the night, especially if they have jobs because they have to get a good night's sleep for work. You can't say do it while the kids are in school because, you know, they're at work. How do you get to pull this off? Mocha, any thoughts? My CR sila. CR. Putang in a CR all the time, though. Yeah, exciting nga yun, diba? CR, uh, kitchen, sa kotse nila. What if it's, but what if it's one of those CRs na, ano mo naman yung means, yung mga CR na sa atin, diba? Medyo pangit. Kahit na, nasubo ko na rin yan, kahit gano'ng kapangit yung CR, no? Kahit na sobrang liit. Yung mga CR? Hindi, hindi. Oo, tapos mga panghe pa? Hindi, hindi na mga panghe. Kahit na sobrang liit, kasha sila dyan. Ah, sa ano, sa... Sa car, diba? Tricycle, jeep, kaysa puno. Tricycle, <laughs> um, how often do you want to do it? Psych. Um, most four. We just every night if we have time. We have it. But now we don't do it. We because I was thinking if you want okay, if you wanna say uh, if you wanna aim for twice a week on weekends, well only two of them are in school, one's in grade one, one's in kinder. But is there a way on weekends you can send the kids to their pinsan or something like that, you know, where they're not in school, but you guys are at home? So it, it, what I'm saying is, like, you have to make Saturday and Sunday your sex days because these are days where you're not at work. You can move the children to another room where they can hang out with their cousins or whatever and then get this done. And twice a week is still an OK amount. Um they're back-to-back nights. It'd be nice to spread them out, but I, this is the only way I could see this pulling off on a regular basis. Now, you can do the CR thing that Mocha has said, but you don't want to do that nightly. I mean, you don't want to just regulate your sex life to, to, a, to a bathroom. I mean, that's not a lot of fun. Uh, and you can't leave the kids at home while you go out to a motel in the middle of the night because, you know, some of them are really, really young. I'm assuming Saturday and Sundays have to be your days. You, you get someone to watch them. And uh, maybe if they have a Lola or a Lolo sleeping at the house also, you can have the kids so Oi, matuluka sa, sa katabi ng Lola mo. Or, you know, it, it could be something like that. And then that's where you get the boning in. Yeah. You know. It's really hard. I, it's really yeah, hard no, it is very hard. It is, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. It, it is very hard. Because you have three kids. You have a small house. You have no extra rooms. You have to make adjustments. And if, if that's the reality of your life where you can't be alone with your husband, then the only, the only thing you can do is do it on days where some alterations to the routine can be made. And that's Saturday and Sunday. That's the only thing I could see. Psych? Yes, hello. Yeah. 
So, so you, know? you get what I'm saying, dear? It's tough and it sucks. <laughs> same bed ba sila That's what kids? it is. Same bed daw. I'm sorry? Same bed sila, yeah. pati kids. So, ang hirap nga. Ta, ta, ta. Sucks, no? Sa floor na lang kaya sila, sa floor. Yeah, but the kid is six years old already. It's different. Because, like, oh, I feel like if you're, having, no? yeah, if you're having sex with, like, a, f- a three-year-old, yeah, that's yeah, like oh. the latest. But mm-hmm. four, it's a delicate. Yeah, oh. So the kids are six and five. So two of them mm-hmm. definitely will be kind of traumatized. Yes, that's right. Uh, or they oh. might think you guys are fighting or something tama, like that. Tama. While the other one is just going to be crying or whatever the f- fuck it is. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's a tough situation. Oh, that's it. Or weekends. Yeah. Okay, psych? Weekends. Hello, yes. Whew. Yeah. Sorry, love. Tough, tough, tough situation to be in. But thanks tough for the situation. call. situation. We tried yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. You know, we tried. I'm sorry? Uh, during weekends. I, w- I, w- I w- uh, would uh, put our mother's. But it's so. Uh, God. Shit, you know, we can't, I can't, I can't hear you because your phone is cutting off. But if you're saying you're sending them out to the in laws and stuff like that, that's the right thing to do on weekends. Try to find a place where they can go every weekend. So that's when you guys can get your fuck on. But thanks for the call. We appreciate it. Sorry, your, your phone's a little scratchy there, so we can't continue. But, um, I hope it works out. Try it. And if you have any other problems, do give us a call. It's a Monday night, 20th of May. Mocha is here. You can follow her on Twitter at Mocha Uson. Taking a break. Back with more of your questions after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Take a little sunshine. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey,
Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny, but um, what's like? Have you, have you played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay, gonna va. Okay. And you're going to be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Or I'll go two at a time. Okay, gonna va. Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Monday night. It is the 20th of May. Our guest, Mocha Uso. Hi, Mocha. Thanks for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Mocha, <laughs> off air, you're talking about um, how... <clears throat> How uh, confusing it is to have sex with multiple people, like ah, yeah. four or five Mm-mm. people. You've had sex with five people at one time? Yeah, or oh, girls naman yun, yeah. So all five girls? Mm-mm. All, all you guys are girls? Mm-mm. That's fucking wild. Sabarang How's that, wild. What's that like? Ah, uh, magulo nga kasi isa, kinakain yung pekpek mo, isa, hawak ka yung susot, isa, kiss, magulo, magulo. So advice, maximum na yung three. <laughs> three, okay na yung three. <laughs> Ang gulo, oh. pangit-tangin. Eh, pangit-tangin na may tain. Hindi, ano tayo? Hindi, magulo lang. Magulo. Pero, wow. So, three, okay. Wait, and I always ask this every time, I always ask this every time you come on the show and you always have a disappointing answer. But when's the last time you had sex? Ayan na naman eh. <laughs> yeah, when's the last time? Pang ano, last Friday pa. Ah, okay. Because oh. last time you were here, it was like, it's been months and you've been <laughs> having masturbation and stuff like that. So, okay, at least Friday. And, and boy or girl? Ah... Uh, Hindi alam ano. Bye yata siya, bye. Bye. So, guy, did he have a penis or is it a vagina? Basta bye. Sige na, let's continue. What? How could you not share Alam mo ba mo, napaginipan kita, kaya nga ako andito ngayon. Yeah. Oh yeah, how was Uh-oh. it? What did we do? Two nights in a row. Yung unang panaginip ko, I was giving you a hand job down. Hindi ko lang bakit. Oo. Tapos. <laughs> <laughs> diba, I was supposed to be here last week, diba? Kaya lang may shoot. That's right. Oh, so I yeah. canceled. Tapos, uh, hindi pa ako nakareply kung kaya lang ako available uli. And then the second night, napaginipan na lang kita. You were giving me kanilingo stuff. <laughs> Oh shit, I have to be on his podcast now. So, Mo, I'm available Monday. Ayan, so, okay, <laughs> and, and I know you have a show tonight. Uh, you're at, what is it, Zirko tonight? Yeah, and, and that's why you're going to leave a tad bit early. Mm, that's right. Tonight. And what else? Where, where else can people see you? Just so. Ah, with the we Moga can, uh, Girls, yeah, every them. Monday, so Zirko. Every Tuesday, so, uh, no, off the grill at 10 p.m. And then 12 midnight, so Flair, formerly Mugen. Wednesday, Blue Wave Makapagal. And then uh, 22nd Street Comedy Bar Las Piñas. Thursday, Harder Cafe. Friday, Off the Grill. Saturday, 22nd Street. Marcos Highway naman yun. Mm-mm. Yeah. How do you pull this off? Because like, if I have to work three days in a row, I hate it. How do you do multiple shows on any given night? And this is low season compared to say, like I know Christmas time, it's even worse for you guys. Mm-hmm. Plus, you do world tours and you're gone you're doing 35 cities or some crazy shit like that mm-hmm. in a month. I mean, it's it's. how do you get, I don't want to say how you get all the energy because you seem energetic, but how do you get through it without being yeah, sick know, or it's extremely just tired? Like, or, know, uh, it's just like exercise. It's like you work out, right? You sweat, you get wet, you burn those extra calories. So I think of it as an exercise. Na lang, kaya motivated. And then you get paid. Oh, you got obviously. a lot of money now, Mocha. Be honest. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna ask you how much, but do you have? A, you must have a lot of money. These I don't days. have a lot of money. Wala, because really? I'm paying for you know, stuff. You know, 
Yeah. Di ba nga, di ba nga my mom had chemotherapy. Yeah, so, cancer. So, still yeah. paying for it until now. Yeah. Kasi my dad eh, uh, passed away. Oh, bye, sorry Mocha, about that, you, Mo. Like a month ago. Yeah, he had cancer. Yeah. And you know what his bill was? My mom just told me this uh, earlier know, today. Just just this month. This month alone. This mm-hmm. past month. When mm-hmm. he died. 25 million pesos. Yeah. 25 mm-hmm. million. In a month. That was the last month. But he was there for five months. Just imagine what kind of money it takes to fight this and still lose. You what a horror. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're killing people's boners. Oh, okay. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Let's get back to it. All right. Hey, yeah, sorry. Shit. Hold, hold. Hey. Talk, talk, talk to me about those five girls again. You're okay, fucking. Please, go, quickly. Yeah. Um, uh. Let's get to some of these calls because there are plenty, as always. Mocha Usan on the program. Follow her on Twitter at Mocha Usan. And again, she's everywhere. So I'm sure you'll catch one of her live shows um, on any given night. You can find Mocha somewhere. Okay, let's go to... Let's go to Ding Dong, who's 34. He's in Doha. And, and wait, what, what happens? I mean, you've been to the Middle East. Uh, again, you've been around the world. What happens when you go to the Middle East? You know what? Uh, a uh, place like Doha. Hello, uh, Mo. I performed in Doha. I was there for six months, actually. Last 2007, in time for the Asian, yeah. ASEAN Games. Uh, surprisingly, this is the namin, okay, yung sexy. Pek pek shorts, kanyan. Kasi yung bar, it's called Cube, malaking bar, malaking club. Uh, uh, it can accommodate 1,000 to 2,000 people. Tapos, sure. ano, uh, modern, modern naman yung, yung, uh, yeah, yung. So may mga lugar naman sa, sa Middle East na pwede, pwede mag mocha uh, performance. Yes, Mary. Actually nga, for me, ah, yung experience ko mas open pa yung Doha. Kasi in Dubai, they say they're open, pero sa totoo lang, uh, it's just a front. Hindi sila ganun talaga ka open. So I, lo- I, lo- I love Doha. I love Doha. I saw- I've never been there. Hello. Hindi <laughs> yeah, yata kami just pwede doon. Yeah. yeah, Saudi seems like they'll kick you <laughs> out. But anyway, let's, let's get to it. Let's talk to Ding Dong. Ding Dong, 34 years old. You're in Doha. Hi, Ding Dong. You're on the show. This year is Mocha. What's up? Yes, hello, Mo. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum, my friend. How are Kat you? Kapalak, kapalak. Yeah. Zen. Okay. And a question. So, hey, Moka, how are you? We're we're fine. We're fine. We're, uh, <laughs> yeah. Moka and I are excited to hear your story. Go, Kuya Dingdong. And uh, like she said, she loves Doha, so I, I hope you're having a good time there as well. Thanks for the yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Cube is a nice place, actually. Okay, don. Yeah, I've been there once. Um, well, well, listen, Mocha, they seem strict to me, at least. When I landed in the airport, right? Uh-huh. And it's a beautiful airport Super. in Doha. Holy mm. fuck, man. Everything's mm. fucking gold. Yeah. And like, it looks like a fucking uh, five-star hotel, six-star hotel when uh-huh. you walk in there. It's yeah. fucking beautiful. But I pulled out my camera, and I took a photo in the airport, and they car? took my fucking camera away. <laughs> what? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, they're asking me what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, oh, you can't take pictures here. I'm like, what really? the fuck am I supposed to a beautiful airport? They're like, no. And they grabbed it. And yeah, that's the last time I saw my fucking thing. Qatar Airlines, beautiful, by the way. But mm-hmm. yes, could not take a uh, picture at the airport. And um, yeah, man, fucking straight. Okay, but anyway, at least they let... Well, at least, well, my thing is they're doing construction too. So maybe oh, okay. it's just like uh, some sort of blueprint shit. I don't know, whatever, but that sucked. Yeah. But yeah, it seems to be a really cool place. A lot of sand. It's strict and intimidating. Anyway, yeah, tama si Moka. Hindi naman masyadong strict dito. And okay din, parang Dubai. All right, what's up? Okay. Uh, hold on, I'm losing signal. All right, we'll wait for you. Oh, shit. Sounds like he's at the Okay, end. well. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm on my phone anyway. Well, here's the thing, Mo. Um, ayun nga, so I had this guy friend and uh, yung wife niya, co-worker ko. And uh, one thing led to another. So to make a long story short, me and my wife, I mean, me and his wife had this thing going on. We had sex one time and that was actually the morning before my flight to Doha. So, okay. And then after a few months, yo, nag-email sa akin yung guy, parang putang ina mo, gano, gago ka, gano, gano, gano niya ako. <laughs> and <laughs> and so, akala ko tapos na. So, yun nga, nag-email. So, on my last vacation last year, I was planning na harapin ko na siya, mapasuntok na ako sa mukha, okay lang, parang matapos na yun. Oh. Eh, hindi ko kinaya. So, ngayon, mag-vacation ulit ako. So, um, this time, really, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna face him. Arabing ko ang anong consequences and uh, yun. So, well, ano sa what, tingin mo? Kung paano ang approach? Yeah, well, 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 first of all, I want to ask, what, what do you want to achieve with him? Now, you're going to ask for his forgiveness, but do you still want him to be your friend? Is that what you're trying to do? Um, well, you, you know, there's a saying, I like to, I want to have my cake and eat it too. 
So yun, sure. I want to have the cake and eat it too. <laughs> I want to get so you want parang basta maging okay na. You want to be his friend still. You want to fuck his wife and still be his friend. Um, well, I'm not gonna fuck his wife anymore. Yeah, I but, know, but uh, but you get what yeah. I mean. Like, you want your cake and eat it too, right? So you want to still be okay. The chances of that happening are very slim. Like him being your friend. Uh, but I don't know what you guys are like. Okay, I don't. I don't know that if you're. He's the type, especially in the email. I mean, that seems pretty bad. Now, cause the reason is this: you're not gonna be his friend. Chances are you're not gonna be friends anymore because you fucked his wife. That's a okay. huge, huge sure. thing. You don't do that, right? Um, okay. But at the same time, if somebody came up to me and said, Mo, uh, you owe me a punch. You, okay, punch me in the face. I did this. I wouldn't punch you. I would either just go, no, because you're not defense. You're, you're defenseless. You're, you want me to punch you in the face. I, I can't do that if, if you want me to. Okay. Or I'll stab you instead. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be one of the other things for, for what you've done to me. Either I'll stab you or, I won't let, or I'll let you off. It's going to be really bad. Um, and and I think Ding Dong, you should just apologize. But you don't have to be his friend anymore because you, you broke that. That's your fault. You don't have to get punched in the face because that's not going to solve anything. Well, at least he got something out of the whole thing. I don't know. I mean, I I I, I see where your heart is at here, and I I I, I applaud it. Like, fine, yeah, you're, you're trying to do the right thing, but I think it's unnecessary. Mocha, what do you think? I mean, like, he fucked his wife's friend. I mean, Ding sorry, dong his naman. friend's wife. Alam mo kasi, Mo, ito nga eh, okay lang maging malibog, pero dapat responsable tayo. So, uh, you have to suffer the consequences, and uh, yun, ikaw na lang bahala mo dyan. Basta ako, I encourage everyone to be horny, malibog, but be responsible. So, ito, bahala ka na dyan, Mo. Hindi okay, <laughs> Here, yeah, here's my thing then. Why don't you e- email him back and say, bro, Bro, I'm going to the Philippines next week. I just want to ask, would you want us to meet up so we can talk about it? I would like to apologize. If you want to punch me in the face, you can punch me in the face. But you and I are friends. I know what I did was wrong, stupid, and I regret it very much. Yun lang. Uwi ako next week. If you want to meet up just to talk about it, I'm not going to do anything. I just want to see you and apologize because you're my friend. Sabihin mo lang. Kung saan at kailan, and I'm gonna be there. I understand galit ka, so I'm already uh, assuming na when we meet up, galit ka na, you know, you're, you're angry. But I just want you to know that I'm here to apologize, and that's why I want to go home and talk to you. You'd love. And see what he says. If he says, fuck off, don't ever come around me again, then don't come around. Yeah. But if he says, okay, then meet up, then meet up. So at least you'll be able to fulfill what you want to accomplish, which is apologize in front of him but at the same time it's going to be at a place at a time where he's prepared to see you and not going to tear your fucking head off because at least if you make an appointment he's not going to be mabibigla tapos kukuha ng kutsilyo and you know saksak you know it's going to be okay I'm going to see Ding Dong again I, I want to hear what he says you know parang may, 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 he's going to be mentally prepared for this and hindi, hindi siya magwawala yeah na nice. so siguro yung intention ko is self-serving I just Tama. want to release this uh, tension and yeah. uh, you know, I made my research and uh, I saw that they're already separated. Okay, Hopefully not because yeah. of me. <laughs> it's probably because of you. But again, <laughs> make an appointment. <laughs> make an appointment to see him. Okay. Ah, so again, All right. So, parang um, uh, anticipate na lang niya ganon. Pero hindi yung basa surprise yeah. na lang na oh, balaga. <laughs> oh no, no, definitely. Ding dong, if you did this to me, like I said, yes. and I saw you, for example, at the mall, and we're on the third level, I'm going to carry you over the third level and watch you hit the bottom floor. Like, that's because uh, because the rage and thing will come up right away, and I won't be able to handle it. Well, I'll throw you off. Now, if you texted me and said, Mo, can we meet at the mall next week? I'll have a week to think about everything and, and your intentions and all, and I won't throw you off the third floor. Maybe I'll punch you in the face. Maybe I won't. But when you meet somebody without, uh, like, unannounced, Mm-mm. he's going to remember all the rage and anger and all of the separation that's involved now with his wife. And put he's going to take it all out on you. Yes. And that means throwing you off the third level, running you over with a car or whatever it may be. You want to okay. limit that. And you make an appointment, uh, it, it, it prepares him mentally. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Uh. <laughs> or die. <laughs> yeah, no. this, this, this happened three years ago, by the way. <laughs> Still, so that's three years of maybe anger built up. You're looking at it at three years of him to calm down. I'm thinking of three years 
and he separated with his wife because of you. There was probably legal matters that were that he had to pay for. There were probably other issues that you don't know about that needed to be addressed because of the separation and all of the pain and arguing. And maybe he lost his house because of you and all of this shit. That was begun. You're going to just show up. He'll fucking kill you. And I'm here in Doha. <laughs> right, and you're in Doha at the time of your life <laughs> and going to Q Bard so you can see Mocha perform Oy, on stage with the back back shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get what I mean? There could be a lot of stuff here that you don't know what's going on and then you're just going to show up. He's going to stab you. Yeah. I think yeah. You want to prevent right. dying. Well, I, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, make an appointment. It's going to be a lot safer for you. Thanks for the call, Ding Dong. Uh, we appreciate okay. it and continue to download us in Qatar. Thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually listening to the uh, episode where Mocha's supposed to be in. With, uh, oh, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last Friday. All right. No worries. Ingat hey, you can ingat download, ingat download ingat tomorrow. Dong. Thanks, man. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a regular caller. I'm, I'm, I use different names. So, anyway. <laughs> oh, are you? Okay. All right. Fair enough. You're, used, you're still bad. I used the name Ding Dong just last time. You told me that I sounded like Ding Dong. Mm. Oh, that's right. All right, Ding Dong. Yeah, you kind of do. All right, thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Have a good one. All right, all right, Let's all right. go to Mark here. Mark, you are... How old is Mark? Mark... 28. 28. Las Piñas. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up? Oh, how are you? Oh, we're good. This is Mocha, by the way. <laughs> hi, Mark. Yeah, hi, Mocha. How hi, are you? Hi, Mark. Yeah, hi. How can we um, help you? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I just have a question because um, the thing is... I've been dating this guy for a couple of months now, mm-hmm. and yep. the thing is, I think he wants to have sex with me. We've been True. dating for quite some time already, and I don't know how to say it to him because I'm sick. I'm a posy. So you're HIV positive, and you you need to tell him. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it seems well, complicated. I don't. Well, he, he's a, he's he's a cool guy. I think he, we like each other, but to make things complicated, I think he wants us to have sex with another guy. Do you oh, think he'd wow. be uh, be served to know? I mean, I don't think he wants us to you know to be together. I mean, committed. Because the thing is, he wants us to you know have sex with another guy. You, you know, when it comes to telling someone about your sexually transmitted uh, infection, the condition, uh, disease, whatever the fuck, uh, it doesn't matter if you're in a committed relationship or not. This is a, this is a piece of information that needs to be known, uh, c- whether it's casual sex, whether it's committed sex, whether it's one night stands, whatever. You need to tell the person. Yeah, I don't always. want, I don't want to infect him. I understand where you're coming from. I don't yeah. want to infect him. The thing is, um, I like this guy so much that I want to be in a committed relationship with him. The thing is, I don't think he, he feels yeah, the same no, he way. he doesn't want to. Yeah, if, he, if he's going to put a third person in there. Like, okay, listen, Mocha. Uh, yeah. Earlier you were talking about five sums, right? Mm-hmm. So you're, yeah. you're fine with that. You're fine with a three sum, a five sum, a four sum, whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. But the moment that you're in a relationship, Mocha, it's, there's zero chance that this is happening to you, right? Mm-mm, yeah. So... Kung magi invite ka ng girl para sa five sum, hmm. ibig sabihin na each and every one of those girls is not girlfriend material, correct? Mm-mm. That's right. So Mm-mm. I agree. So, so what we're doing, Mark, here is probably showing to you that if he's inviting another guy in a, into a scenario with the three of you sexually, mm-hmm. then he's probably mm-hmm. or highly, highly unlikely wanting you as a boyfriend. So maybe. If what you want from him is a committed relationship, what he wants from you is just sex plus another guy, I suggest you don't have sex, you don't tell him, and you just try to forget about this whole thing with him. Mm-hmm. You think Be- so? Because you're, ang relationship, you're not going to get it. So you might as well, eh, just, just kind of back away. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to have sex with him because you really like him and you accept that there ne- there's never going to be anything between the both of you, like, exclusively, then you really need to tell him about the HIV so you can go ahead and hopefully he won't be, he won't mind and still suck your dick. Hmm. It's up to you. Because at the, at the same time, maybe you want to have sex with the guy. I mean, shit, right? Why not? You have to tell him. And have you told anyone about your HIV-positive uh you know, state to anyone um, 
aside a family member, obviously. Have you ever told a guy that you Actually, wanted to fuck? Actually, my family doesn't know and, about it. Okay, well, fuck. You need to tell them too. But have you ever uh, told a guy that you wanted to fuck that you're HIV positive and he still fucked you? Well, I was diagnosed last just last year, and I haven't told anyone about it. I was just diagnosed last Mocha. year, and I haven't yeah, told why? anyone. Question: If a guy told you he had a, a sexually transmitted infection, but said, "But we can use a condom," are you still gonna fuck him? Ah, uh, tough question. Yeah, it's a tough, tough question. It depends. Eh. Oh, e, paano kung boyfriend ko na yun, di ba? Or asawa ko na yun, tas may STD or STI siya. Pero hindi sinabi sa'yo. So medyo deceptive yun, di ba? I mean, there's, a, yeah, there's okay. an element of thing. Mm-hmm. And I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I, I, I would say, I would say no. Mo? What do you think? I would say no. <laughs> I, I would say no. Say no? I, would, I would caution on, now, while, while condoms are very safe and all that stuff, I would say no. Just because my life is, is very important to me. And, and now, Mark, I, I hate to, to pop your balloon here and, and saying no, but we're, we're being as honest as possible. So, yeah, yeah, I understand. I know. It, it, it would be very difficult for me to. Counseling and stuff. Yeah, it would be very difficult for me to say yes. Now, but not, I'm, I might not be like everybody else. Maybe there are people there. I, that think, I think that's the best way to do now, just to say no to the invitation. Oh, yeah. And just look for another one, right? Another positive, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You may look for another positive. It would be great because then you can support each other through it. You know, yeah. and and remember, <laughs> it, it, it's not that HIV positive is a death sentence. It, I mean, no, it is and it actually. isn't. I mean, because you guys, yeah, it, it is in terms of there's no cure, but it isn't because look at Magic Johnson. Look at all the other people who have HIV who who live normal, perfectly for, fine for lives. More than, yeah, I understand. Yeah. So so it's 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 not a turn off. That, oh my God, I'm going to die. It's just, I want to limit the amount of cancer cells I have. I want to limit the amount of this I have. I want to limit my chances of getting HIV. You know, uh, you people who are going to th- be in that frame of mind. And, I, and I, I would be in that too. But you have to tell me, Mark. It's different. You have to tell me. You have to tell everybody before you engage in sex with them. Now, if you're yeah, not going to have sex with this right. guy, then, yeah, then no need to tell them. That's something that you keep to yourself Mm-mm. if you want. Yeah. Okay? I, yeah. I have to agree with but that. But yeah, man, you know what? You know, you, 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 you brought up a great point. Find another positive, man. Maybe, you know, that, that will increase your chances of, of just having someone extremely comfortable with it. Yeah, I agree. I might just have All to right. do that. All right, Thanks, brother. Mo. Hey, thanks. thanks and, Mo, and good luck with that. And, and, and I like your, I like your de- demeanor about it. And that's an educated man right here. We're listening. He's edu- you, I'm sure you're educated about HIV because you're not, you're not calling the show like, man, guess what? Yeah. Fuck, Uh-oh. man, I'm so screwed. You know, you're, you're, hey, eh, no worries, whatever. Because it is, right? At this, this day and age, that HIV thing, not so bad mm-hmm. anymore. Mm-mm. All right. It's not, it's not the end of the world for me yet. Yeah. I know. Totally. <laughs> totally. Love it. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Mo. Bye. Thanks, Mo. All right. Thanks, Have a good also. Night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Jack, 29, in Manila. <laughs> Ironically, Hi. your name is Jack, but I've, I'm sure that's no. fake. But the, <laughs> the irony with, with your question today. What's up, Jack? Yeah. You are in Manila. How can we help you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yun, yung problema ko. Hindi, uh, halos araw-araw, hindi ko mapigilan yung sarili ko. Hindi ko na kung psychologically, ano, talagang halos araw-araw, I'm doing it sa sarili ko pero I'm satisfied naman doing it with other sa babae pero pero kahit tapos na ako sa babae <laughs> I'm still satisfied doing it by myself so masturbator every day how many times a day yeah uh, three to four <laughs> mocha you're patient <laughs> Ano pa nga nito, Jack? May jajakul ka ba ngayon? parang jajakul ka ngayon eh, sa uh, boses mo eh hello Jack Hi. Hey, yeah. why don't you? Do you want him? Yeah. You, you you want him to, to, to <laughs> masturbate right now? No, yeah, no, can no. You oh, Jack, Jack, be quiet. Go, Jack, Jack. Jack, I'm gonna talk to I'm gonna talk to <laughs> Mocha first. Okay, Mocha. What? Here we go. Oh, Pustahan no. tayo, no? Ano? Pustahan na. Ano? How many minutes for him to to, to ejaculate? Ngayon? And then, uh, oh, puta pera. How much? How much? Five hundred. One thousand. One thousand. Five hundred. Whatever. Siguro may chumatagal Whoever gets siya. closest to how many minutes he needs to ejaculate. I don't know, pero feeling ko may medyo matagal na yan. Kasi sigurado naka, nakatatlo na ngayon yung araw, yung araw na to, di ba? Well, so, that's why. Well, then give me give me a time. How many how many minutes you think it'll take? One hour. <laughs> Mocha, apparently you don't know the male dick. 
Wala I know. Kaya lang malay ko ba kung apat na, uh, apat na ejaculation na siya eh. Let's oh, hello, Jack. Comment. Jack, hello, Jack. Hello. Are Hi, you God. touching yourself hello. right now? No. No. Uh, okay, Jack, do me a favor. Grab some yeah. lubricant and start start getting an erection while Mocha and Ako I kind of... Ako Jack. Meron ka bang lubricant dyan? Huh? Uh, ayoko na eh. Ayoko. Ayaw mo na. Bakit? Nakailan ka na ba today? Hindi, ayoko na may lubricant. Ah, gusto mo laway ah, mo. Laway bear. mo. Wow. Po, tangin na. Hardcore. <laughs> gusto ko yung mouth. <laughs> laway mo. Tangin na no, hardcore. Uh, <laughs> Nakail- nakailan ka na ngayon? Isa pa lang. Isa pa lang talaga. Gusto mong isa oh, pa? Oh, I wish he'll... Uh, he needs, he needs, he needs uh, oil change. Uh, isa pa. Okay, do me a favor. Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. I don't want to destroy this, but Jack, get an erection. Mocha and I need a business. We're gonna, we're gonna business, uh, have a business conversation and then let us know when you say, guys, excuse me, excuse me, may erection ako. Okay, so go there and go get an erection and then we're gonna, we're, may pustahan kami konti dito. It's a business. Jack, get an erection and then let us know when you're ready to go. Yeah, put on some porn on the on the, on the thing. Mocha, one time, one time only today. So how many minutes before he he comes? Quickly. Walang lubricant sa nito. Kaisa na siya ngayon. Pero may mocha, may bosses mocha. That's better. Sana one minute. Sana one minute. Mag come na siya. One minute. You think you can make him come in one minute? Do you think you can do that? I'll give you a thousand bucks, cash money. <laughs> If you can make him come in one minute, I say three minutes. Three minutes. That's uh, what I'm. That's my. That's my guess. Sana ano siya one and a half minutes kaya okay lang. So yeah, I'll give you forty. Oh, sorry, uh, seventy-five seconds to make him uh, orgasm. I say he's gonna orgasm in two hundred seconds. So uh, let's say. Mm, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, here we go. Take here we go. Jack, All right, wait, Jack. Wag mo na. Wag mo Timer starts not yet now. No, no, uh, no. I'm, 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 just, I'm gonna make sure he's okay. okay. Jack, everyone, yeah. uh, Join oh. us. <laughs> Jack, are you ready? Sige, Jack, you have... Uh, Jack, do you have an erection already? Nope. Wala ka daw. Oh, oh. It, hurry up. Oh, hurry up. Talo, alam mo ng tao, san? Paano yan? Do me a favor. Go, go, go open up a web browser. Jack, Type in mocha Jack. sexy or whatever no. and then put images. And then you're going to no. see photos of mocha Jack, really sexy. And then she's going to talk to you. Oh, I just want to hear mocha talk. Okay, shut up daw mocha. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. Jack, are you, ano na? Are you hard na? No, hindi pa. Bakit? Ano ba? Bakit? Sige, na-touch ka na. Bakit? Ano ba suot mo? Ay, hindi ka ba nanonood ngayon? Bakit? Hindi gusto ko yung boses mo eh. Ah, boses na lang. Eh, nakasando ako, pero pwede kong tanggalin yung bra ko kung gusto mo. Sige, sige, tanggalin sige, mo. Sige, ito na. Dali lang. Hinahawakan ko na yung nipple ko. Bakit? Anong kulay niyan? Ay, putang ina kulay. Ah, mukha, mukha kulay niya. <laughs> May bakit ba? May bakit ba? <laughs> Ikaw naman, pati pa naman. Ano sabi ni Jack, bakit? <laughs> bakit mo tatanong yung pati yung kulay ng nipple? Oh, sige, it's ano, it's light brown kasi morena. No, ayaw ko, gusto ko pink. Ay, putya naman. Eh, si Mo na lang ang batihan mo. <laughs> Wala na mo. Gusto niya, ano, pink nipple. Jack. But Jack, what the fuck is wrong with you? You have Mocha, who's incredibly hot, trying to sex you up, and you fucking ruin it by asking stupid questions, Jack? Ah, uh, gusto ko toto. Hindi kasi mo yun na problema. Yun ang uh, effect ng sobrang pagbabate or ano masturbation. Minsan out of touch ka na sa reality. Yeah. So, oh, oh. Imagine you're the super hot Mocha. Go, hey, come on, I'm taking off my, I'm touching my nipples. Kaya Bakit? Nga, Kaya nga, oh, oh. <laughs> kaya nga minsan What the fuck kaya, is wrong with you, Jack? Kaya minsan pag sobrang soloista ka na Hindi mo na alam kung paano Pag may partner Mag-inter- Yun ang downside ah. Nung sobrang pag Hindi, eh, may partner ako Kaso mas gusto ko pa rin yung ano Yun na nga, sinasabi ko oh. Oh. Jack, you just ruined a golden opportunity You stupid ass uh, eh, Stupid Stupid, yeah, yeah, stupid. Another try <laughs> No, you know. fucked it up no. already you... No I just want one last chance Ayan mo na, ayan mo na, ano, uh, yeah. Jack. Minsan hot, mag-stop hot ka, once a day chances. na lang muna. Minsan wala ka na sa realidad, oo. Eh, hindi yeah. naman usually ganun. May times lang talaga, a week na, dire-dire. Na diretso, then another week, may pahinga naman. O, ingat ka, kasi nakakabobo yan, nakakalbo pa. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jack, so Jack, what's the question? Uh, you, you, you're worried that maybe you're masturbating too much. Oh yeah, baka kasi hindi ako. Sobra na, ayo na nga ng babae. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
like like I say to all the people who call regarding this, once it starts affecting your daily routine in life, like hindi ka na kumakain, hindi ka na liligo, hindi ka na tong tatrabaho, all of these things because masturbation, then it's a problem. But if you're still be yeah, if you're still able to to for, uh, to complete and to uh, continue all of your basic duties that you need to do and responsibilities and plans, then uh, I think you're going to be fine. Yeah, and I'm worried because I'm afraid I'm not going to have a Oh, uh, Jack, sobra no. na, sobra na yan, Jack. Actually, Jack, sobra yeah, Jack, na. it's it's starting to ruin your mind. Yeah, you know what? Listen, I now agree with Mocha. I think you're masturbating too many, too much that parts of your brain is now ejaculating with you. <laughs> it's not just semen, but there's oh, that's actually right. cells that's right, my from your brain that's coming ex, out. Yeah, that's why right. my ex left me. Dahil niya parang shocking. Huh? Oh. Shocking. Yeah. I'm I'm shocked that that she left. <laughs> and, uh, Remember. Uh, with each ejaculation, the IQ is lessening with oh, you, Jack. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, your test scores are going lower when when you're when you're. When but you're, I can do my. I, I can do things right. Eight times seven, Jack. Eight times seven. <laughs> oh, wait, thirty-two. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? You bye, see bye, I'm Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, Jack. Bye, yeah. Another one. Answer is 56, buddy. 56. You got it. Come on now. Let's take a break. When we come back. We've got it. She's masturbated a lot too, Mocha. Yeah, yeah. sobra na nga eh. <laughs> personal experience. Let's take a break. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. It was a very memorable experience namin dalawa kasi plano namin, simple wedding lang, pero yung kinalabasan niya, extraordinary one. Kinagabihan pa lang yung wedding namin, August 7, grabe na talaga yung ulan nun. Yung mga atin ng kasal namin kasi nanghihingi sila ng confirmation kung tutuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi sobrang taas na din ang tubig. Pati yung photographer po kasi tinatanong kung tuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi medyo may tubig pa. Ang dami na namin nare-receive na calls, pati kami dalawa nagtatawagan. Hmm. Pero ang nare-reply namin sa kanila, tuloy talaga ang kasal kahit na ano mangyari. Buti na nga lang kamo ang nakapag-register na kami agad yung kinagabihan pa lang ng... Naka-angli na kami parehas. Uh, Naka-colnet uh, na kami. Combo ng blue. Kaya hindi masyadong hassle. Mm. Pag-detect sa pagtatawagan sa ibang naming mga kasali sa kasal. Mm. Pagpasok ko ng doon sa iba, ba, para <laughs> Hindi ko alam na nag-march pala lahat ng entourage ko sa ano sa tubig. Bago po kami nabas ng simbahan, sinalubong po kami ng mga tao na nakakita sa amin. At talagang na-amaze sila, nagulat sila. Kaya yung nag-request sila ng ano doon ng, ng kiss. kiss. Pero talagang tama yung sinabi ni Father na for better or for worse, through thick or thin, through text and calls. Tama na, tuloy din yung kasal namin. We're glad to be globe. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Take a little sunshine. Hi. 
Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. I was dared through Boss Man to, uh, to eat a sprinkle of not sugar, but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. like a thousand ways to die and the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. Wow. Okay now, say chubby bunny. <laughs> Girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. I am still shocked at uh, Jack, our last uh, caller before the commercial break. His only opportunity to have some kind of sexual activity with a celebrity, and he fucking ruined it with stupid questions. Can you believe that? That's the unbelievable. Uh, no, that's the effect of over ejaculation. Oh. Maybe he was nervous. Maybe he was cool in front of hey, sub- super hot chick. It's really the sexy thing. It's really the sexy thing. So, sobrang na yung three times. Oh, by the way, Mo, I just want to say hi to Dr. Anna Chris Garcia of GAOC, Get Advanced Ulcer Integration Center. Ayan. Where every Sound smile good. is a statement. Hello, Doc. Anna Chris Garcia. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, Doc. All right. Hey, are you ready to get your game on? Chevrolet Philippines brings you the Chevrolet Sonic, a sporty, stylish, subcompact car that has 1.4 liter Ecotec engine with six speed automatic transmission that provides dependable speed, power, and fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Sonic is also equipped with high tech features such as steering wheel mounted audio controls with USB, auxiliary, and Bluetooth full audio streaming connectivity. The Sonic is available in hatchback and sedan variants. So, dare to take on life's challenges head on and complement your A game with the all new Chevrolet Sonic. Visit your nearest Chevrolet dealership or log on to ChevroletSonic.com.ph to check out the all new. 2013 Chevrolet Sonic. Game on. Hey, phone number 478-7954. If you want to call us, you catch us on Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Text 0927-360-0485. On the show tonight is Mocha Uson. Follow her on Twitter at Mocha Uson. You can check her out um, on all of her gigs, whatever. I mean, I'm sure she's she's going to be available in your part of the town because she's always employed, always very busy. Mocha, is there a Facebook page or an, uh, a website where they can kind of get a list uh, of uh, places that you're yes, uh, performing? Yes, uh, just you know, uh, like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash hot mocha girls. And uh, please watch out for my upcoming indie film. It's a uh, an entry to the Cine Filipino Film Festival happening in June. It's entitled Mga Alaala ng Tagulan, directed by... Ato Bautista, and I'm co-starring with Akihiro Blanco. So it's a no, my first wholesome movie. So hope you'll still support it. <laughs> oh, of course we will. Yay. And what's your role here? If it's your first wholesome film. A uh, provincial conservative girl. I'll be the love interest of uh, no, Akihiro Blanco. His first experience. So yeah, ganon. 
Fantastic. All right. Okay. Fair Thanks, enough. Molly. Let's go check that one out. Let's get to the calls, though, and let's talk to Trisha here. Trisha is in Zamboanga, and she is 26, year old, uh, 26 years old. Hi, Trisha. Thanks for being here. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Trisha, you sound so clear. I was saying this off air, how incredibly impressed <laughs> I am. And this is Zamboanga. I mean, you know, I, I don't know what the uh, Internet service uh, out there is like, but you sound crystal clear. This is awesome. Well, thank you. I'm using a, a good kind of a microphone because that's my oh, job. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, so you, you do like you work at what, a, a call center agency or some sort of, uh, what is it called, BPOs or what? Mm, I don't know. Is that what you do? No, more, more like, um, like an online English teacher. So I basically teach Koreans, oh. Japanese, Russians, Mexican, you know, any nation, nationality who wants to learn English. So the key there is the uh, is is the microphone. Huh? God, we got to tell this to all our fucking callers. Hey, listen, callers, you want to sound as clear as <laughs> Trisha here? Look at you a fucking decent microphone when you call the show. God, I love it. You sound great. <laughs> yeah. All right. So wow. So Thank you teach you. English to people online. You don't have to go into the office, and it's from different parts of the world. Do the, do, do yeah. they ever get kind of like the conversations or the lesson? Does it ever go towards the sexual? Uh, I mean, you know, oh, since, never. I hope not. Never. never. I didn't have that experience because most of my students are basically professionals. They yeah. work in offices, um, big companies. Yeah, but you, you even. got a super hot I, voice, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, you don't, you don't ever go, you don't ever go like, uh, hi, okay, this is how you say, um, you know, uh, what time is it in English? What time is it? And then the guy on the other side, he goes, Bakit? Anong kulay? He, he doesn't say that. That never happens to you. <laughs> No, no, okay. no, never. I, actually, they have a basic background in English already. They just have this very terrible um, grammar that I need to correct every time. Fantastic. All right, so what's your question tonight? Uh, by the way, this is Boca here, and uh, she's on the show yes. as well. So what's up? Yes, hi, Mocha. Great hi. buddy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my God, right? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, was, I was actually asking, like, um, Every time, like, every time I get the chance, you know, I try to, you know, satisfy myself, but I just can't get it. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. You can't have an orgasm? Or do you have an orgasm when you masturbate? Rarely. I do but you get do it have. sometimes. But so, okay, well, yeah. at least you have. And it, it means if you have had one, you can have one again. And that's where Mocha's going to come in here and teach you the proper way to <laughs> masturbate because she is the fucking expert. Now, what if I may, before I send you over to our ex, uh, expert uh, panelist uh, consultant here, Mocha, um, what do you use to masturbate? Is it a toy? Is it your fingers? I mean, what's, what's the process for you? Mm, well, just, just my fingers. And okay. no toys because, well, I'm just scared that maybe my dad or my sister would find it. <laughs> so sure. just to play safe, well, I would just use my fingers for that. Okay, fantastic. Mocha, what? you're yeah. patient. I know. Best way to masturbate. <laughs> well, what's a, what's a, give, give her some techniques so she can get an orgasm each and every time with the fingers only. Uh, what's her name again? Her name is Trisha. Trisha. Hello, Trisha. Yes, hi. Yes, but you've experienced orgasm, na, diba? Yes, Before. but sometimes, you know, I want to do it like maybe two times or three times, but I can only get once. Ah, so gusto mo marami. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero, wait, Mocha, if that means yes. she can't have, maybe she's just not multi-orgasmic. Maybe she can yeah, only have one. Yeah, may eh, oo eh. Pero you mean... What's wrong with one? What? Pwede naman kasi na dalawa, kaagad mo, ganito eh. Um, Trisha, right? So, ang pag masturbate ka, yung clitoris mo, syempre yung tinatouch mo, right? Hello? Yeah. yeah. Kasi ako, in my experience, yes. pwede ako makadala. Like, like, for example. Yeah? Yeah, Hello? Trisha, go. Yeah. Yeah, yes. go ahead. Pag, but if I'm doing it with my boyfriend, you know, I can get like, you know, seven or ten even. <laughs> wow. Wow, really? mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so if you want to be one, you need to be one, you need to be one, right? You need to be able to stimulate your G-spot. Tell us more. Where? Okay. How are we going to find this? Yes. Of course, he's going to pass his finger. Because you know, because he's going to be angry with the woman, right now, because when you experience clitoral orgasm, Pagod na yung katawan mo eh, hindi na kaya. But if you uh, stimulate your G-spot first, yung sa loob ng vagina mo, tapos nag-orgasm ka, meron ka pang energy to, ano, to stimulate your clitoris. 
So, if you could just learn how to uh, stimulate your G-spot, makakadalawa ka kahit na wala kang partner. Now, where is the is the G-spot different for everyone? Because you and I have have not <laughs> agreed upon this in the years that yeah. we've been together on the show. Mm-hmm. Awoka, but where is the G, G-spot for you? Ako? Yeah. Sa loob lang. Uh, one and a half inches lang sa loob. And siya na siya. One and a half and inches it, inside uh, my vagina. Is it against the north wall? Uh, sorry for the Game of Thrones reference, but when you enter, okay, for, for example, you you enter the vagina, it's it's on the wall, like that spongy feeling thing, which is kind of just north of the entrance. Entrance, oh, it's kind of like harap, over- anterior part lang. Ando lang sa harap pagpasok anjan na yun eh. Eh kung kung yare, wala naman siyang G spot. Mayroon naman kasi pang iba mga spots yun eh. Um, uh, H spot, U spot, kasi yung yung pekpek naman ng babae, maraming mga ano yan, eh, mga uh, ano tawag doon? Uh, happy zones. Happy zones. Ayan, maraming happy zones yan. So, kailangan lang niya hanapin yung other happy zones niya aside from her clitoris. Okay. I got you. Mm-hmm. Now, now uh, not using a toy. Just the fingers. Is it is it just as enjoyable or the toy is really the best way to go? Makakatulong kasi yung toy because ano eh, uh, nakakapagod kasi yung kamay eh. Pag kamay ka ng kamay, um, medyo nakakapagod siya. So instead na mag-focus ka sa pleasure mo, eh, nafo-focus ka dun sa pagod ng kamay mo. So if you use a toy, it will help you find, yung vibrations will help you find yung mga... Uh, Ano mo, yung mga spots mo, yung mga happy zones mo. So I suggest. Okay, what about this? Okay, what about this thing that I saw? Uh, was it well, guys? Do you remember? Was it Durex that makes this the 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 underwear and the panty that has the? It's kind of it's a built in. Um, I guess sexual pleasure thing where you have on your iPhone app so you wear the panty Ch- check this out Mocha what? you wear the panty then you wear the bra right and then you get the iPhone app and you can touch the app and it will it'll vibrate those areas that you want it to so it's not really a toy that you have to put in but you can just wear the panty now this the, the reason why people use this is for uh, long distance relationships mm-hmm. right? when for example you're in the Philippines I'm in Los Angeles or we're, we're gonna have sex what you do is you buy this Durex panty and bra I buy the, I get the, I download the app, and while we're talking, for example, like Mocha, wow, you know, I'm mm-hmm. really horny, I'm really hard, I want to touch you right here. I press the button, and all of a sudden, your vagina starts to shake and and, and vibrate. Wow. So you don't really have, you don't really know where I'm gonna touch you. Biglang magsu squeeze lang yung boobs mo, the bra will tighten, and you know, so it's a really great toy that you can use whether you're in a long distance relationship or by yourself if you want to be discreet Trisha because you're scared that your dad might walk in or your sister might walk in so why don't you buy this get it online um, you put on the underwear and the bra and then you just start pressing the, the app in places that you want it to vibrate and stimulate you and hopefully that'll work out now if somebody walks in and says what are you here? you're nothing what? You're, just, you're just sitting down doing nothing in the meantime you're getting sexual pleasure I think, fuck, I forgot the name of the product, but I know Durex makes it. Check out like Durex Australia and put like vibrating underwear or something like that. Or go on YouTube. You'll see the commercial. They have a YouTube commercial for it as well, the ones that they air on television in Australia for the product. And my, that might help you out a little bit if you're scared. Otherwise, Mocha, is there any other sex toy that's not shaped like a dick of course, that you can probably know. use? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Moa, please. Uh, no. It's called Fundaware. Trisha, Fundaware, F-U-N-D-A-W-E-A-R. We, we talked about it on the podcast uh, weeks back. Uh, I think you should look into that. That's a good way to be discreet about it. But Mocha has some yeah. toys here that she wants to share with us yes, that don't ito, look like a dick. Uh, that might Trisha, be, you know, it doesn't that might be look cool. like a vibrator because uh, it looks like a, a lipstick. Tapos it's USB rechargeable. So Love it's it. very taking ah eh. Kaya yeah, you explore on toys para ano, mabilis mong mahanap yung mga ano, happy spots mo, erogenous zones. Kasi pag kamay, mahirap talaga, nakakapagod eh. And uh, yeah, toys talaga, it will help. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, um, Trisha? Well, that's the problem. Because um, my my boyfriend doesn't want me to use those kind of things. Hindi mo na may paalam sa kanya. Yeah, mm-hmm. he doesn't have to know. Do you live together? <laughs> No, 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 no. Well, well we're actually him. You it's know, a lipstick. in a long distance relationship. Oh, see now you really want to get the fun to wear, love. You now you really want to get that. <laughs> because if you're a long distance relationship and all of this stuff happening, this is perfect for you. So you guys do a lot of Skype sex. 
No more on maybe let on the phone, over the phone, oh, not man. on Skype. Why are you? Why, why not Skype? You get the video. <laughs> well, because you know, um, I don't live alone. Well, if we do get the chance, That's we do true. it maybe you know once every three months or something like yeah, that. Very imagine rare. your dad walks in and all of a sudden sees your boyfriend's dick on your fucking desktop. Oh my god! Yeah, it's that crazy. Would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> he would freak out. All right, Trisha. Where's your boyfriend? Okay. What, what, what part of the world is he in? Well, in the U.S., in New York, Queens. Awesome. All right. All right, Trisha. Well, yeah. like, like Mocha said, find, find those happy zones inside your vagina. Hopefully invest in a non-dick-looking toy mm-hmm. that'll help out a little bit. And um, try to get those multiple orgasms that you're really uh, trying to achieve. Best of luck to you. Okay. Yes. You Thank speak you so much, Mocha and Mocha. I always ask this for people from Zambang. You speak Chabacano? Yes, of course. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. our dialect here. Nice. I know. That's awesome. You, 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 know, you know the Chabucano dialect, uh, Mocha? Yeah, our first single actually is Chabucano. Eh? Pacha, pacha pa delante. Move el cabeza. Yeah. Y también cadera. Buta arriba mano. Buta arriba mano. Bira, bira, oh, bira, bira. Nice. Man so cute un poco. Tama, di ba? <laughs> That's my favorite yes. dialect uh, of the I'm Philippine all. dialects. Chabacano. <laughs> Fucking love it. Now, wait, why do you speak it, Mocha? Where did you get it? No, our song, our first single from our first album is entitled Pacha, and the writer and the producer of the song is Chabacano. So it was a hit. It's you know, very, you know, it's a nice ano talaga, dialect, Chabacano. I love it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it's, Spanish, it's basically Spanish, but I love it. It's Uh-oh. good stuff. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, Trisha. Yeah. I, can you say something yes. sexy in Chabacano? Like, like Mocha here did? Um. Well, yes, um, buenas noches con todos. Does that say something about my dick being huge or no? <laughs> no. What was it? It's like good evening, everyone. Oh, damn it. Why is it so sexy? God darn it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Trisha. Appreciate it. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Have a good night. Imagine if she said, yes, that means your dick is huge. I'm going to start saying it. When people start saying, oh, buenas noches. I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, it's pretty big, isn't it? <laughs> they feel like, what? <laughs> um... Phone number 4787954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Mocha Uson on the show tonight. Always doing a good job. Thanks, Mocha, for being here. We oh, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me. And, and I know you have to go soon. Mm-hmm. So let's try to get some more calls uh, in there before uh, Mocha says goodbye. And Mocha, you know, we give away iPad minis now on the show. Wow, yeah, I've heard. Thoughts, iPads. Yeah, it's, it's starting to, you know, we're, we're jumping up here. <laughs> All right, let's go to Rob. Rob, you're 25 years old. You're in Las Piñas. Hi, Rob. Welcome to the show. Hi Mo, hi Mocha. Hi Rob. All right, Rob. What's up? Um, I just want to know your uh, your thoughts and your opinion on relationships wherein there's a significant difference in the age of the man and the woman. It depends. Uh, tell us uh, where where the age difference is in the guy and the girl. I mean, is this your relationship? Well, I'm not in the relationship yet, but uh, the thing is, uh, this girl that I have a crush on right now. She's uh, younger. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. If you're 25 and she's younger, and it's younger to a point where you're concerned, I'm scared to hear the age difference. What is it? She's, uh, she's not a minor, though. Oh, okay. What is she, 18? Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, so, so what's your question? Uh, so should it be a big deal because uh for me uh before it uh kind of it kind of was a big deal but uh the last uh few girls that i uh, dated or liked were actually a bit younger than me so i guess uh my my uh my take on it has changed in the, uh, recently but okay. that was like maybe at most 3 years difference okay but no uh, no, no Mocha, time, you, like, how, how, let me ask Mocha's take on this. You, you ever date a guy a lot older than you, especially when you were in your, say, late teens? Mm, not, hindi naman, hindi naman not that old. Ano lang, same range eh. Yeah. Never had well, an experience. I, mean, I, I think people have known, I mean, I've dated a girl when I was, say, mid, like 25 and she was 19, in, in that kind of age as well, um, with a big age gap. Uh, you know, I, I once dated a girl, 10 year age gap, 9 year age gap, stuff like that. Um, I, I think where you need to be in your mind, uh, Rob, is to make sure not to kind of rush things 
for her thinking like you get what I mean like because you're 25 you might be thinking oh I might be married in three years but she's 18 she shouldn't be thinking that she's gonna get married in three years you know don't don't domesticate uh, a person that's a lot younger than you because it's just not gonna work out there's gonna be a lot of fighting there's gonna be a lot of not uh, seeing eye to eye in, in in certain things but but you know at 25 to 18 you know there's a seven year gap there just as long as you make sure that you know that this is a relationship that likely won't go the whole way, that you're just there to enjoy each other's company, have fun, be romantic, do all the things that couples do. Just don't pressure her into kind of making this her last relationship because it's not going to be her last relationship. She's going to have three more of you before she before it's all said and done, Rob. All right. So so, so you, you kind of have – not, I'm not trying to make – this or, or put a curse on this relationship or tell you it's doomed. I'm just saying it's highly unlikely that this is going to be the one. She, you're going to be the one for her. I don't want you thinking, oh, this girl, she's awesome. Uh, this, eto, eto talaga, she's the one. She's the one. But she's only 18, dude. No. It, 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 you know what I mean? No. It's, it, so don't pressure or make it ass, or assume or paint the picture that it, this is it for you guys. It'll likely not be the case. And then I think it'll be fine. I think once you've established that, it's fine. You, you can have a lot of fun and enjoy it and good stuff. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. All right, man. Bye-bye. Now, when a girl is 18, Mocha, mm. so she's, she's no longer a minor, but there's an age gap there that's scary, right? I mean, like, mm. if she's 18, she can date anybody she wants. Yeah. Oh. Mm. But... There has to be an age of the guy that makes you go, whoa, 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 mejo, mejo sobra, man. Like, if the guy's 40 and she's 18, I'd be like, no way. <laughs> Even though she's no longer a minor. Yes or mm-hmm, no? Or yeah. she could do whatever. De- sobra na yun. What do you- sobra na yun. Yeah, it's kind of weird, no? too much, yeah. So what, what do you think it is? 18, what do you think the oldest uh, uh, an 18-year-old should date? Uh, oldest, okay naman yung 25. Kaya lang, just like what you said, syempre, marayong pang mga gustong ma-experience itong girl na to. Kaya that's the risk that the guy should be willing to take. Yung pwede magbago yung isip ng girl. Alam mo yon. So, I advise the yeah. guy sana maghanap na lang ng mas ka-age niya. Kasi, pag 18, fickle-minded pa yan, eh, marayong pang gustong subukan. I agree. Mm-hmm. All right. We have Mocha Uson on the program. We probably have Mocha for only about, uh, I'd say, maybe 10, 15 more minutes, right, Mocha, mm-hmm. after this uh, commercial break. So let's make it count. Give us a call. Get your questions on air. Hopefully, you can win an iPad mini tonight. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. 
Sonics. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, and stay for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the, with the game Chubby Bunny. But, um, what's, chub, what's like, have you ever played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny, and you keep putting it in your mouth, and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not going to say Chubby Bunny. We're going to say, we're going to have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, okay, gonna va. Okay. And you're going to be like, okay, na, okay, na. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go. Two at a time. Okay, I'm going to do two at a time. Okay, gonna va. What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. All right, last chance for your calls. We've got a lot of them. Let's see here. We have one, two, three, four, five, I think six. Still ready to get on air. We probably can only do three. So for the people on hold that won't get on, we appreciate your efforts. Maybe tomorrow, if you don't mind uh, calling us back. Again, I'm so sorry. It's just we only have X amount of time here on the program on uh, any given night. It's Good Times for the Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Uh, on the show tonight is Mocha Uso and Mocha. Right after this, uh, and in just a few minutes, you're headed out. So you're on your way to Zirko where you yes. do your Monday night shows. Yeah, with the And Mocha Wednesday shows. nights, you do two shows, right? Mm-hmm. Or is that Tuesday nights? Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday, two shows in a night. That is amazing. Really. I am really, really amazed by your ability to just just get up there and do it twice a night that's mm-hmm. that's fucking for that. and every single night as well go out and do support uh, Mocha Uson in any of her gigs and if you have an album coming out soon or if you guys um, are going to write one let me know and we'll yeah. put it out there oh please watch out for uh, no, Mocha Girl May on the cover of Playboy Philippines this month's issue so grab your copies mm-hmm. are you still at this point where when you guys are bored and uh I don't know, like right. you're, you're killing time, maybe a flight, a long flight to the U.S. or Canada where you tour. You girls uh, get all kind of sexy with each other? Uh, mm, or sisters na kayo, medyo, medyo weird na. Uh, in, may bago kaming member eh, so mas interesting ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> but so like our Facebook page, very interesting. Facebook.com slash no, hot when, 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 there's a, when there's a new member of the, show, of the, of the, uh, of the group... Hmm. Do you get to taste her first because you're Mocha, you're the lead? Hindi naman ganon. Siyempre, minsan si Maymuna. 
She called it first. Oh, she said, "Sige, sige, may ikaw na muna. Bak okay, sabi mo sa akin." Mm. Love it. Mocha, you are the best. Um, All right, let's get to some of these calls again. Uh, 478 Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Let's talk to Joe, who's in New York. Hi, Joe. You are 24 years old, New York City. What's up? Hi. Hi, Mo. Uh, hi, hi Mocha. Hi, Joe. Hi, uh, Mo. Thanks Mocha's again. been to New York. <laughs> yes. Mocha was in but New York I took a my top times, off yeah. in Times Square. Would you believe, yeah, I, saw, I, I saw your anyway. like, um, behind the scenes picture. Tapos so. ngayon, legal na pala. I mean, it's not even, you know, legal. illegal. It's, oh, it's legal. Always legal. Yeah, yeah, sure, it's always been legal. I know, but it was my first time there, but I wanted to do it. I was looking for space, you know, naked space cow, cowboy, but he wasn't there. So what I did was, diba merong red stairs in uh, Times Square yes, sa gitna? Yes, the TKTS. Oh, yeah, yeah. I took my top off, tapos nag- Photo shoot ng konti, I'll post it on my blog soon. Said, wait, wait. When video. you took your top off in New York on Times Square, did you put your hands down as in Kita Dede or you naka, naka, you know, I'll hand bra? I'll, uh, I'll put it on, I'll post my video. Eh, kasi, and, uh, um, we asked the permission of the NYPD first, diba? And they said, hey, go, do whatever you want. That was, yeah, we did yeah. that oh, in the middle of know, Times York. Square. Yeah. Super you nice. You can do that in San Francisco too. Oh, really? Okay lang. Pero mas interested yeah. ako sa NYC. And I got this shirt from oh, music. I yeah, totally. uh, music. I got this from Museum of Sex, my triple X shirt. And uh, I made uh, uh, a documentary of my uh, uh, tour of the uh, Museum of Sex. It'll be posted on my blog soon. So watch out for it. Mocha.com. Isn't, isn't New York just the fucking greatest city so in the bra, world, right? Where you just fucking York. walk up to someone, Wait, you're like, Dude, can I take my, can I show my tits? And oh the guy's my. like, the police is like, sure. Oh. <laughs> like, oh man, New York City is the greatest fucking town in the world. I yeah. Tell oh you. yeah. I, I posted so a picture awesome. on my Instagram if you want to see a, if you know our listeners want to see my topless pic in Times Square. Follow me on Instagram, Mocha Usan then. Mocha Usan on IG. God damn it. Do I follow you? I'm trying to think. Do I follow you on Instagram? I, I think I I think I think don't because I don't see photos. Oh, fuck, oh, I got to really? do that. Okay. By the way, may I add, did you see Elena Darnato on Instagram? We got to follow her. Jesus. She I'm following tweeted her. tweeted the photo the other day. Fucking I'm following crazy. her. Crazy. Nuts. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, so let's get to it. Joe, your fucking question. What's up? Hey, uh, Mo. Uh, um, I just want to add, like, um, when you have a friend that you like, um, and she's like, you're into her, but she's like also telling you stories about her boyfriend, um, which about they're about to break up and you want to make a move. Like how long should you wait? Like before you can really make a move. And, um, you're also considering the risk of, you know, you might be like friend zoned or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. Let, 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 I'll give you my opinion. I want to ask Mocha first, though, because she's the female here. Mocha, when you break up with a boyfriend, how many months, weeks, days go by? And I, maybe it's different for every girl, but do you just want to be single? And you don't even want to think about any kind of relationship or anything. You just yeah. want to be single and enjoy it. Yes. Is it an X amount of months, weeks? Dep- like what you said, you? it depends. It's eh. in months. Months. So yeah. what you going to just be a friend to her. At ano, kasi paka maturn of yung girl kapag pinipresenta niya yung sarili kaagad. niya. Yeah, kaagad. Yeah. So just be a friend to her first. Ayun. Yeah, be in her life, you know, um, you know contact her every now and then. If you are scared about being friend zoned, then don't overbear her with friendly gestures. And don't overbear her with romantic gestures. Just kind of play it cool for a little while. Let her enjoy her single life. Keep in touch, definitely. And, and then, you know, don't text. Or just call her. Call her every now and then. You know, I'm not a big texter guy. I'm not a big email guy. I'm not a big Facebook guy. You go out, give her a ring every now and then. Hey, you want to pick up some lunch? That's it. And start now. You know, start early so it doesn't look kind of too creepy the moment she breaks up you're asking her to lunch mm. just say hey you know, listen i know you're going through some rough shit you, you want to have some lunch you know i'll take you to uh i'll get you a lobster sandwich over there at uh is it luke's or some shit like that in your you know something simple almost fast food like nothing too romantic and crazy mm-hmm. um welcome you know welcome on super fast food like mcdonald's or anything but you know just something very shake shack you know really light really not too formal every now and then mm-hmm. yeah all right? Hey, go, go grab a Shake Shack burger. Okay. Hang out a little bit. You know, sit down in Central Park, whatever. What the fuck? Just, just kind of hang out yeah. a little. Yeah. Okay? And then I would say if you're looking for an exact amount of time, yeah. I don't know, Mocha, how do you feel about four months? Mm, yeah, five months. To go oh, wow. Yeah, something like <laughs> that. Now, what's, okay, listen. It's May. 
So, yeah, you don't want to do it too in the summertime in New York because it's all sweaty, hot and shit. She doesn't want to think about that. Do that in autumn when it's nice and the leaves start to turn the beautiful shades of orange and red Ay, and yellow. Mag-gym sila. Mag-gym na lang silang dalawa. Go to the gym or group outing. Well, so you want to friend zone, friend zone, uh, there's a, there's a, well, while I'm not a big believer in friend zone, but that's a big friend zone area, man. Gym okay. during breakup. I'm going to spot her. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> and then she's going to start telling you, wow, look at the muscles of the guy. Look at that. Look You know, and then you're going to be like, oh, fuck. Sige. <laughs> I say, give it some time. Wait till the leaves start to turn and that beautiful fall in New York and go for the attack then. All right. All right, Joe. Okay. Are you coming right. back here? Have- to New York? Oh, probably yeah. within the year, definitely. Two, three times. Uh, okay, maybe... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. I'll let you know when I'm there. I'll, I'll tweet when I'm there and you send me a message. Hey, I'm Joe, the guy who calls the show. And then I'm like, okay. okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Mo. Thanks, bud. All right. Have a good one. Okay, Bye-bye. Um, uh, Mocha, do you, do you, speaking of gyms, you've got a extremely tight body. One of the calls, actually, somebody wants to call in the program is about working out and stuff like that. I don't know if we have time to take his, but uh, you say the, the nightly shows and all that stuff, they serve as a workout, but do you actually do the sit-ups and stuff like that? Because you've got a rocking body. Uh, Siyempre, ano, um, three, ano, every other night, nag-sit-up sa ko. Tapos dancing, that's already my exercise. Actually, exercise na yun ng girls, dancing for all of us. Now, and and do you, are you at a point where you can just eat about anything you want because of the amount of work that you do? Uh, no, I can't eat anything I want. I still watch what I eat. Strawberries, veggies, kanyan. Oh, God. But you're not, are you vegetarian? No, no, hindi, hindi kaya eh. I still want meat. You yeah, need, need, mm-hmm. need that red meat, right? Yeah. You need, to, you need it squishing in your mouth and shit. That's mm-hmm. awesome. Um, <laughs> all right, fair enough. Now, now, Mocha, I know you have to go. Uh, yep. How about we take one last uh, call or are you super late? Can you, no, can so you give me can, one? Yeah, Let's take one more. Yeah. All right, here we go. V, you are, how old are you, V? Hold on one second. Let me get to you. 26. Yeah, you're in Davao. Yep. What's up, buddy? Uh, not much. Just how can we help chilling. You? Fantastic. Thanks for being here. How can we help you? <laughs> um, my question is, how to easily get rid of my butt hair? <laughs> Your butt hair. Um, <laughs> I've never been with a man. Um, Mocha, <laughs> v. Ano pa nga, V? Never... Punta ka dito v, sa yeah. Manila. Ipaano na, palaser mo sa kalayan. Meron silang Brazilian uh, you know, eh. I, I've, I've never been with a man. And as much as, oh, I have zero intention, but let's just say I was. Let's just say one night I'm just going to say, fuck it. I'm going to try fucking a guy. I would not uh, be so scared of the balls or the penis as much as I would be scared about the ass hair. It's the butt hair that's going to turn me off most, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not excited to see any dick or anything like that or let it rub against me. But if I had my, if he was on top of me and I had my hands on his ass cheeks and then I feel some hair in between his ass, I'm going to throw up immediately. That's me. Yung ba yung butt hair o hindi ba yung sa loob malapit sa anus? Yeah, that anus hair. That uh, that hair in the anus part or like that's kind of like... It, that that's it's it, oh I, I I I would really throw up if I ever felt that. Brazilian yan, pwede ipa Brazilian. Yeah, well I don't I don't the Brazilian is too. I mean, but the thing is I don't want my ass shown to some lady who's got wax or laser while my asshole is right there. You know, like a guy asshole is just like you know shit and fart and all that. I mean, I would just shave it myself instead of have someone else. I I, I feel weird about it. I feel weird that someone's going to put wax in the middle of my asshole, like around that, and just rip it off. It's something that I, that's not very appealing for me. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, do girls have that hair also in, in near the asshole area? Siyempre meron yan, no? Kaya nga may Brazilian, eh. Para malinis lahat. Oh, God. That's awful. Okay. Um, so you want to know, uh, V, is how do you get rid of it? How, what do you do about it right now? I don't do the shaving because I think it multiplies more if you shaved it shave it off so what do you do you just let it grow uh, I trim you mean you get a mirror <laughs> and you pull a scissor out and you cut them one by one like that no when you touch your butt cheek you can feel it naman eh. <laughs> butt cheek that's disgusting dude you're fucking gross <laughs> okay 
Well, <laughs> Mocha says get it lasered. Now, what's great about laser is that eventually it'll be gone forever. Like, there's a permanency mm -hmm. in, in, in lasering. But it's not only one time. You have to laser it every month for like... Or once a week. Eight months. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a long process. So you're, basically your asshole is going to be in someone's face once a week for months. You're finally to get rid of that. So that's the downside of the laser. But what's great is it's permanent. The, 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 the waxing, obviously, that's going to, you know, you need to come back for that regularly. But that's maybe once a month, once every two months, you can get that shit waxed off. But that's disgusting. Putting hot wax on your ass, not a, not a fan. The shaving, if I were you, is the way to go. I, I mean, I really would think that that's what, unless you, if you don't mind doing the laser, which could get expensive. But either way, it's disgusting about, and you have to get rid of it. How about razor? <laughs> that's what I do. I use a razor. Shave that ass with a razor. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and every time I, every time I shave it and I look at the razor and I see the long strands of hair, I'm like, blah, blah, fuck, you know, it's, <laughs> it's different. It's just fucking nasty. Asshole hair is gross. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, V. Well, I, don't trim it. Sh shave that motherfucker. Or wax it or laser it. But the trimming, I don't agree with that. Okay? Mm. It's too dangerous. Right. <laughs> well, it's not that dangerous. You're not going to get a good cut going because you're just pulling and cutting, pulling and cutting. That's a very weird, almost old school thing to do. Just shave it. You'll be fine. I shave it. It's fine. Okay? Yep. <laughs> and you know what's a good thing about, about sh shaving your butt hair is when you take a shit and you wipe your ass, it wipes cleaner. <laughs> right, Mocha? Yes. Like, tumata, kung tumatay ka, tapos pupunas, you know, ano pupunasan ano? mo, ma, parang mas konti yung tayo sa, sa, sa tissue. I think burning the demo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, V. Have a good one. Okay. V? Have a good night. Bye bye. All right, Mocha, we're out of here. Thanks for being here, love. I Thanks, appreciate Mo. it. I think Thanks you did a fine also. job. Mm -hmm. I know you're super, super busy. So uh, you're heading all the way out to what? Quezon City now? Yes, Timog. Okay. I will follow you on Instagram. Obviously, I follow you on Twitter. Everyone else should. At Mocha Usan on Twitter. She's very, very, very entertaining. Check out her Facebook. And you have to see a live performance because for all the, um, for all the kind of sexy talk that you do on Twitter, here on the show, on your thing, on stage, you are a rock star. Thanks, I mean, you Mo. You yes. really do own that <laughs> stage. And I, I and again, it's not all talk, man. You go up there and you fucking bring it. And and I, I commend you on it. You're thank awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Mo. Thank you. All right. Anything else you want to say before we go? Ah, uh, thank you to uh, no, Dr. Smane and Pai Kalayan, B. Kalayan, Dr. Steve Markan of GAOC, where every smile is a statement. Thank you to uh, Dr. Elnet Tan of American Icer. American Eye Center Ginbel 5 for my latest LASIK eye surgery. And to uh, Babay Lanspa in Timog, thank you to Jeff Pan and Dexter Rabanili of PWL Salon. There. Fair Thanks enough. Thanks for All your right. support. Mocha Thanks, Uso Mo. for being here on the show. Thanks. We'll see you again here, Mocha, on the program uh, sometime soon. Yes. We will uh, take a break. When we come back, your chance at winning an iPad mini. It goes to someone who called the program tonight, and we'll find out who that is. <laughs> Caller of the night. Don't go away. See you guys in just a few minutes. We'll return after this commercial break. It was a very memorable experience namin dalawa kasi plano namin, simple wedding lang, pero yung kinalabasan niya, extraordinary one. Kinagabihan pala ng wedding namin, August 7, grabe na talaga yung ulan nun. Yung mga atin ng kasal namin kasi nangihingi sila ng confirmation kung tutuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi sobrang taas na din ng tubig. Pati yung photographer po kasi tinatanong kung tuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi medyo may tubig pa. Ang dami na namin nare-receive na calls, pati kami dalawa nagtatawagan. Oh, pero ang nare-reply namin sa kanila, tuloy talaga ang kasal kahit na ano mangyari. Buti na nga lang kamo ang nakapag-register na kami agad din nung kinagabihan pa lang ng... Naka-angli na kami parehas. Uh, Naka-all-nip uh, na kami. Combo ng blue. Kaya hindi masyadong hassle. Mm -hmm. Pagtitext namin, pagtatawagan sa ibang naming mga kasali sa kasal. Mm -hmm. Pagpasok ko ng bahasibahan, ba, parang... <laughs> 
hindi ko alam na nag-march pala lahat ng entourage ko sa ano sa tubig. Bago po kami labas ng simbahan, sinalubong po kami ng mga tao na nakakita sa amin. At talagang na-amaze sila, nagulat sila. Kaya yun, nag-request sila ng ano doon ng kiss. Pero talagang tama yung sinabi ni Father na for better or for worse, through thick or thin, through text and goals. Tama na, tuloy din yung kasal namin. We're glad to be glowed. Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Take a little sunshine. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. I was dared through Boss Man to, uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar, but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. on a thousand ways to die and the guy died. <laughs> it was so sad. Wow. Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Monday night. I want to remind everyone that even though it's past Earth Day, it's still cool to show that you care about our environment, just like Globe does. They uh, recently held the uh, Globe... Globe Cordillera Challenge 4, where 500 bikers conquered the 65-kilometer road around Benguet to advocate re reforestation. And do you guys remember Globe's My Fair Share Eco Bags from 2012? Well, they're back this year. Team Manila 
uh, graphic design studio teamed up with Globe and they came up with the new hip eco bag designs. So you guys can uh, get these bags at any Globe Business Center for only 120 pesos each. I think taking part in activities like this will make our summer a lot more fulfilling. So please do that. All right, we want to thank uh, Granny's Burgers as well. They're located at 324 LPI Center. Captain Javier in uh, Oranbo, Pasig City. Telephone number is 576-3998 or through quick delivery at 2121-212. You can follow on Twitter, like them on Facebook at Granny's Burgers. It's time for our caller of the night. This is your chance at winning an iPad mini. We will... Uh, well, hold on one second. I need to make sure we got the right caller of the night. We wanted to get... Anne, she was the first caller of the night. She was the one who wanted to fuck her uh, carpentero. And if you follow Anne on Twitter, it's she's hilarious. I uh, I went to check out her Twitter feed. Actually, Mocha was the one, and she was she was pretty entertaining. It kind of weird because she has her cell phone number there on her bio. I, I mean, I just feel like she's just she's just she just there's a desire to fuck anyone really there for for Anne. So uh, she's caller of the night. Now, if we weren't going to go with Anne, we were going to go with Mark, the guy who had HIV um, and wanted to ask about how to tell his boyfriend. So, staff, I forgot. Who did we get? Did we get Anne or did we get Mark? Because I know we were trying Anne, but we couldn't get in touch with her. Is she on there now? Anne, yeah. She's there? Okay, so Anne. Sorry, Mark. Mark, you were our second choice. We were hoping to get it to you if Anne didn't respond, but Anne definitely responded. So she's back. Anne, congratulations. Caller of the night. You and thank you. <laughs> and first, did we lose her? Yeah, first time to call. Guys, hello. Hold on, hold on. Yes, hello. Okay. I'm just going to be sitting here on my ass. I want to thank Globe for uh, being the sponsor of, or of course, major sponsor of this podcast and the people who are giving away the iPad mini. Now, all you have to do is choose between box one, two, or three. Uh, also in the uh, boxes tonight, Meister Watch. Um, we have some Javianas GCs. So it's going to either be uh, an iPad mini, uh, Javianas GC, or a Meister Watch, what you can win tonight on the show. So are we ready with Anne? Yep. Hey. Anne. Hey, what's up, baby? Yep. And let me ask you this, love. What the fuck is up with you putting your cell phone number on your Twitter bio? Well, like, I, you just I want people to call people. you? Huh? You want people to call you? Oh, oh, me can. <laughs> now, how many times have you slept with a complete stranger from Twitter? Because, like, some of your tweets are like, hey, if anybody wants to come here to Pasig and, and you know, I'm going to give you a blowjob, do people actually <laughs> respond and go to your house for a blowjob? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Really? So how many strangers have you fucked from Twitter alone? I don't know. How many guys uh, have you slept with? Maravilla. Yeah, how many guys have you slept with in total? Huh? How many guys have you had sex with in total? Uh, I, I, I lost count now. <laughs> Yeah, but more or less. Give me, give me a rough estimate. Uh, tw- around twenty to thirty, ganon. That's not so bad. I was expecting hundred. That's fine. Oh, you're good. All right, that's cool. And you're nineteen though. Mm-mm. Love it. Love it. All right. Well, hey, guess what? Your caller of the night. You can now win an iPad Mini tonight. You also can have a chance at a Meister watch and uh, Javianas, um, a pair of Javianas. So are you ready? You just have to pick between number one, two, and three. Go, Anne. Yeah. The, the first number that entered my mind is number three. Number three. Everybody chooses three. Everybody chooses three. Let's find out. What did she win tonight? I'll tell you this, though, Anne. You lost. You didn't win the iPad. The iPad's in number two. I'll tell you that right now. So number okay. three is? A Meister watch. Meister watch. Fantastic. You can always tell okay. the time now and go, hey, look at that. It's time for me to fuck a stranger. All right. Congratulations, Anne. Meister watch. That's an Thank awesome, you. awesome prize. Maybe you could strap that baby on that carpentero's wrist when he comes down to your room when you decide to bone <laughs> him, and uh, that'll work for you. All right? Thanks, Anne. Thank you. Call back Thank again, you. please. We enjoyed you very much. All right. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Boy. And, and, and.
It's going to be a long, painful life for Anne. Uh, I want to thank everyone for uh, the calls that uh, came in and the people that uh, broadcast, at least watch live the broadcast. Uh, the people that download the show, we appreciate it very much. Don't forget, if you did not get on tonight's episode with your question, we apologize. Please send us your question again tomorrow or any other day, and we'll definitely eventually get you uh, on the show. It's just uh, sometimes we have more calls than we do have time spent. So thank you very much for your patience. And please, please, again, do try to get on the program, whether it be tomorrow or another day. I want to thank Mocha for being here. The staff are always doing such a great job. See you guys tomorrow on Good Times with Mo the Podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.